Hey, what's up everyone? Today, I'm going to show you the latest AI model, which is already up there with DeepSeek's R1 model. And I'm going to show you as well how you can build agents with it. So the Chinese company Alibaba, they just released their latest AI model called Quen 2.5 Max. And it's already showing some incredible results that are beating major competitors like OpenAI and Claude. And it's also up there with DeepSeek's latest model, which was R1. Now, really quick, I just wanted to break down some of the benchmarks. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to this R article and I will have this also linked down below in the description. I wanted to explain this in the simplest way possible. So let's kind of start from the beginning. First one, we have Arena Hard and this is coming in at 89.4%. So what this is, well, you could think of this as the ultimate AI obstacle course. So it's going to test how well AI can actually handle conversations and give nuanced responses and really think through tricky problems. So it's kind of like having a really smart conversation partner. Now, Quen's 2.5 max, as I mentioned, it scored an 89.4%, which does beat DeepSeek's V3, which is only 85.5%. But worth noting that this graph isn't including DeepSeek's R1, of course, because R1 is just a tad bit better in this specific regard. Now, we then have MMLU Pro. So this is 76.1%, and this stands for Massive Multitask Language Understanding. Basically what this is, it's like giving the AI a massive college exam covering pretty much much everything from science to humanities. So scoring pretty much almost 80%, it shows that it can handle university level questions across varying different subjects. Now, a few other different types of tests that it has is the GPQA diamond. This was roughly 60%. And this tests how well the AI can handle really complex questions that require deep reasoning. So like solving difficult puzzles or explaining complicated concepts. Then we have live code bench, nearly at 40%. This measures how well it can write and understand computer code. And last but not least, we have live bench which was 62.2 percent in what this is it's like an overall intelligence test just checking how well it performs across different real world tasks now before we actually get into how you can actually use this and deploy it on n8n or whatever else i wanted to just kind of give my take on things i think that it's pretty incredible that just earlier this week we had r1 release you know and just a few days later we have quen 2.5 max which is already stacking up against r1 yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Just a year ago, these kinds of scores would have seemed impossible. So, I mean, what's even more interesting is that this comes from Alibaba, which just goes to show how global the AI race has become. If you're not familiar, DeepSeek is also from China. So, I mean, it's beyond just the United States now. For everyday users, I mean, this even developers for the sake of things. This just means better AI assistance, more accurate responses, and potentially more affordable AI tools as the competition is just constantly increasing. But yeah, I think a lot of those things go without saying, but yeah, I just kind of want to point them out. Anyways, let's go into how we can actually start using this. Now there's a couple of different methods. The first one being the HTTP method, the second one being the tools method so that you can easily connect to any AI agent within N8N. And if you would like, you can easily deploy this within Python or whatever else it is. First one we'll focus on is the HTTP. Now we could see, I mean, I could easily test out how I would actually use this. If I input whatever I wanted right here, then it's going to output that. So it's like same thing as putting it into ChatGPT. But how do we actually set this up? All we're going to do is we're just copying a curl and putting it in. Honestly, the hardest part about this video is setting up your Alibaba account. So what you do is go to Alibaba. You'll want to go to the cloud. So come into this link right here. You'll sign up for an account and then you'll access this model studio right here. So I didn't pay anything. This is, I'm running this for completely free right now. Um, you know, after a certain amount of usage, you'll have to start paying. But anyways, once you open that cloud model studio up, you'll come to this page. And this is essentially like the playground right here. So you have the multimodal model where you can test out the latest versions. So you can use Max or whatever. And this is just like playing around in ChatGPT. Same thing. You also have the playground right here. You have the models, which is what we're going to be focusing on. Within these models, you can see all the different ones that they have. One that we are going to focus on is the Quen Max. So if we open up the API example, all we will want to do if we're trying this out with an HTTP HTTP request. Once this loads, you'll want to go down here to scroll over to the HTTP. And if you copy that curl code, you will need an API key. So we're going to copy this first of all, then we're going to go to our API keys and I already have mine right here. So if I just view this quickly and if I paste this over, so I'm going to input the curl and actually let me copy that again. So I'll do this in a different order. Copy that curl, put it right here and we'll see it's going to fill in literally everything for us. So you don't have to manually type anything out. So let me grab my API key again. 
and then we will just paste that right here. Now, if we want to actually test this out, all we will do, instead of saying, who are you? This is where you're just going to input your request of whatever it is you're asking your model. So I'll say, can you provide me a detailed analysis on the country on the United States GDP in 2021? I don't know, something like that. Uh, so if we test this out, it will take a second. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how you can actually use the tool method instead. Now, if you noticed, we're using OpenAI's chat model. And the reason for this is because if we open up another chat model, we will see that there is no Quen right here or anything for Alibaba. So we're going to be using OpenAI's SDK for this. And you know it might even be easier. So if you want to utilize this, what you will have to do is we're going to grab this base URL for the SDK. We're going to just paste that in and you'll want to open this up and you'll just paste in your API key. So I already have mine in here, so I don't have to input another one. And then if you just back out really quick and then open this back up, you will see that there is different models. So we have the max plus turbo and then the previous model, which is pretty cool. So what I've done is I've just connected this to an AI agent. It's super simple. I'm not going very much in depth or creating anything beyond this. Well, for one, we can't add any more extensive tooling for the time being. You know, this isn't available to just connect to the AI agents. What you would have to do is use an HTTP request. So, you know, if I connected it like this to use Quen, then that's going to be the way to do it. But for the time being, we're not going to be able to use it as it's connected to OpenAI like this you know, perhaps within another week or so, you'll be able to build some pretty comprehensive agents. For the time being, they do have function calling. So if you want to build this out within Python and use the function calling, let's see here, there is a specific tutorial for that. All you would have to do is go into this tool calling section right here, and then you just plug this straight into your code, which is um, pretty simple. So if we just go back and we actually see that our result has generated. So it's just coming back with a very in-depth analysis. I'll allow you to test this out yourself, but for what I found, it's very similar to to DeepSeek's R1 model, which is pretty great. You know, perhaps it's not as proficient in some areas, but you know, this is providing me a very long and in-depth analysis. But of course, I'm not really capitalizing on its best features right now. I'm just really showing you how you can connect this to N8N. So for the time being, we're not going to do any crazy function calling because it's not available yet, unless you're coding this or using a different method like HTTP requests. So to test this out, what I'm going to say is I need you to write an email to Nick. You'll have to provide a very deep detailed analysis on how to make money with AI. His email is nick at reprisesai.com. So I'm going to send this off and see what it comes back with. Okay, so it just finished up. You will get an error that likely says all open AI tool calls must have an ID field, but that's okay. So if I open up my email, I can see right here this output. So dear Nick, I hope this email finds you well. As per your request, here's a detailed analysis on how to monetize AI. And again, this isn't exactly capitalizing on the reasoning benefits and the latest tricks in the latest benchmarks. And again, this isn't capitalizing on the latest benchmarks that I was just showing off with. But you know, I really just wanted to show you how you can actually incorporate this within anything agentic in N8N and really beyond that, because it is very soon that this is going to be implemented within N8N natively. So it's nice to have this knowledge. But anyways, that's all I really wanted to show you guys today is how you can use this within N8N. So I would recommend that you start using this HTTP method first. But yeah, anyways, I really thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you in the next video.